All right, now save. <laughs> Wait, did I save? There you go. This is... Yeah, you got it. Oh no. Okay, let's not let's not run into this guy this time. He's so happy to see you. He's like a dog. <laughs> he just like cr like crumpled your ship like it was made out of paper mache. Try to teach the dog to not jump on people when they come in the house. That guy was. He really was a man of war. Oh, what it, oh, oh no! Oh Stop. god, oh god! Stop. Oh jeez. I'm gonna throw you out. You wanna exchange numbers? Hold on. I have stayed far. <laughs> What is going on over there? Uh, oh, look what you Lord. done. Look what you done. It's fine. We just got to get to the dock. Right, Donovan? Like a good sailor, <laughs> State Farm is there. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Do you have the flag up? Yeah. Okay. You're from uh, Switzerland or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> I think it says what I'm supposed to do. It says something like sailing between the rocks or... I think this guy was cool with me. I think it was just like... He was mad that you rammed into his yeah, friend. Yeah, his friend, yeah. Chalk suckers? Oh, I never. Sorry, I'm trying to find the camera. It's the uh, D-pad. Just gonna steer it right through there. We don't die today, you bitches. Piss me off. He's raped, fuckers. Oh no. <laughs> the world's worst uh, game. <laughs> oh no, stop! Oh god, oh god. stop! Oh stop. no! No! Wait. Man, oh, thank god it's not a solid rock. It's one of those illusory rocks. Uh, be brave, eggheads. Ah, uh, good, no one saw that. <laughs> they don't know you're actually an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not a real fire. <laughs> Can you imagine what these that these guys are going through? Their their captain screaming like a banshee. <laughs> the wheel. He's like, oh god, no! They have uh, scurvy. Yep. They have the burning drip. It's coming out of both ends because they don't know about bacteria yet. They just fought two schooners valiantly and then accidentally hit a boat and drowned. They've been on quite the trip. Oh, yeah. And then their captain steers him into a rock. Like a dang egghead. When he bought all that marijuana, that's not the stoning <laughs> they thought they'd get into. The captain faded. The, the boat isn't, like, moving anymore. I think there's, like, a wind mechanic. Oh, okay. So maybe oh, that's what the arrow pointing at you is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lower sails. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. You, there. Wow, you're flying now. And we got the wind on our side. Apparently. <laughs> we'll get through these rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Straight through them. You're going to have to get some Bondo for your boat. <laughs> you got to think about the resale value. It's alright. We, we made great progress by not fighting those ships. It's true. Oh boy, there's more boats up ahead. Oh, <laughs> Act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Maybe they won't hear you. <laughs> See me uh, hit a rock. You ride up alongside them, you're like, so, you guys know about the wind, right? So my do I. Yeah. <laughs> my ship has a giant sunglasses with a mustache. <laughs> or, you know, you know, it's trying to pony. disguise it. Oh no. Turn. We gotta get through there. Well, no. keep oh, going forward. Yeah, we're gonna go forward. <laughs> now you get, you're getting the hang of it now. Man of War is probably like, what is that captain doing? He's just driving in circles through the rocks. <laughs> I'm looking for a good parking space. <laughs> you know what? I, I just settle for a spot. Get out and walk. It's good, good help. You know, yeah, healthy. your legs aren't broken. Be brave while we navigate here. Be brave, hustle. That was harsh. The guy needs to encourage these guys quite often. Is that Captain Chris Raven yelling that, or is that Donovan? Oh, where did Donovan go? Oh, boy. 
We lost him. We must have. He must have fell off when we hit the rocks. <laughs> it's too late to go back and get him. Maybe he's just taking a nap down he in the captain's quarters. I think he sleeps in that barrel. Oh, oh we did there it. We, go. we generated a cutscene. Give us a save. Over my dead body. Where's your pirating spirit? At the bottom of the 13 schooners that you sank. <laughs> You believe it? These lazy bombs around here must have too much money. Why is that? I want to know more about this character. It's an easy job to do. There's good coin in my pocket, and no one's interested. This guy Dutch or All I need is for region or it's, it's Dorf. Georges, that I can it's make it on time. The Dorf on golf. Dorf on ships. I need an actor Anyone to star in my films. A room. <laughs> no, not for all Diego. No. I might be interested, but not now. Really? Do tell! I said later. <sighs> it's a shame you can't shove him. I know. He looks so shovable. He's like a businessman. He's like, oh, I just got back from the dry cleaners. What you talking about, huh? Look at these guys. They look tough. Oh boy, here we go again. Three amigos. My name is Christopher Raven. I'm acquainted with the late Arthur Satchmore. Can you hit one of those uh, sound clips to pretend like that's his voice when he talks? You know, we all have. Can we provide voices. the voices for him. I moved to Boston. It was like being on a tropical island because I was with Larry. Normally, every day. I try to interest you in some <laughs> trading, but today I have a more unusual proposition for you. I'm sure you've heard there's a new threat to the supply routes as of late. I hear you're a man who enjoys dealing with the threats. Test me, test me, why don't you arrest me? <laughs> Captain Neville and the Devil's Tines. Oh, so you don't know what You think the Devil has returned to the Caribbean? And he brought my voice with him. <laughs> I don't think. I know. Yep. <laughs> no. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Boston, it was like being on a tropical island because I was with <laughs> you to Boston. Oh, hey, that guy's leaving. He's done. <laughs> that guy hates soundboards. <laughs> that guy was my avatar. <laughs> I'm proposing an alliance. This is so hack to take down Neville and the Times. I like that. There's a debt that needs to be paid. <laughs> Neville just doesn't know it yet. And I say, let the conversation begin. <laughs> <laughs> A job? <laughs> You've got it wrong, Santorio. I'm not looking for work. I'm looking for an ally. If you aren't going to keep your own waters clean, then I'll do it myself. So, pirate, as much as I hate to admit it, You've got the point. Now he's back, and he's been giving me and my men a bit of trouble. Also known as my boys. No one seems to know anything about where the notorious bastard is, or what he's doing. But you've learned something, right? What about his right-hand man, this Kensington? I do have some information, and I have men out there attempting to gather more. But first, I have a task for you. Gather these papers. If it brings me closer to Neville, so be it. What do you need done? I've had a bit of a disagreement with the governor in St. George's. The French wanted to tell me to turn a blind eye to some piracy. 
So what's the problem? I took these scoundrels down anyway. So, I have a man in St. George's who feeds me information. A civil servant working close to the governor. A while back, he suddenly went silent. His voice and files were deleted like some of mine him. were. But don't mention Toussaint directly. If he's been compromised, those French bastards don't need any more help tracing him back to me. Here, give this message to Toussaint, if he's still alive. <laughs> Fine. Great, we're delivering a note to a croissant. Berth on the way out of here. Another fine mess you've gotten yourself into, Chris Raven. Find useful. On the opposite shore of my island, there is a swift current that appears quite deadly. However, if you sail at it steadily, the tide will pull your ship through a passageway that leads directly to my docks. It will save you time, and you won't have to navigate the rocks. Clever. But aren't you worried I'm going to spread your big secret? Oh, what conditioner you use? Give this message to Toussaint, if he's still alive. Wow. A thousand experience gained. It's a very intense conversation. Oh yeah. Did you get all that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Where'd it go wrong for you? <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that you, Tom? I don't think so. It was in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually put the iPhone ringtone noise in the game. The developer was in the toilet. <laughs> Splashing around water, and his text came in. <laughs> he was in his bathtub recording the sounds where he likes to record them. <laughs> <laughs> and a text message went off. I'll leave it in there. <laughs> Alright, let, let's set the quests. There's Santorino. Santorio. <laughs> we gotta find. We gotta find Luco More. Nah, I don't see him. Go, go to the other dock, please. Oh, <laughs> you're yelling out docks, and I see four docks. I mean, really, it's oh, a pick, pier, isn't it? It's pick the, the right one. <laughs> it's What's all up? technically. You walk past him, are you? Oh, no, this guy? Yeah, talk to him. Oh, he didn't. Is it true? Are you sending oh. to Georges to find Santorio? Word sure travels fast around here. Not as fast as I need someone to make it to St. Georges. What exactly do you need? There is a man there, a mercenary named Luke Morel. There were um, some arrangements between us. Very loose, you see. Higher guns and the like. <laughs> you understand them, you? Anyway, I cannot meet them. Something came up. And if I leave now, it wouldn't be very good for anyone. I just need Luke to get this message. Mention my name and he'll pay you what he owes me. <laughs> I can take care of that. Magnifico. Ah. Finally, someone who can think for himself. Thank you, amigo. Well, I never once thought that guy was Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> wow. His voice actor changed from the first time we saw uh, him. He, I'm pretty sure. Did it... Did, wait, wait, wait. I didn't see it save. You better save. See, the, people try to say these games are bad. They just teach you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They teach you to be careful. It's like... St. Okay. George's. Where's St. George's? Uh, bottom of that archipelago. Uh-oh. There you go. That one. But you probably want to do what you did before. <laughs> oh. I'll just give it a shot. See? See? I'm not sure what the... What are they trying to... We have no enough money <laughs> to pay the crew. Oh no! <laughs> we, we have no enough money! <laughs> so they all just sink the boat with everybody in the middle of the ocean. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm too... I'm blown away. Yeah, see, it's fine. Wait, we, so we, so what, what happens? What's the consequence of not paying the crew? Well, Mac got served his papers. Ah. And uh, Donovan, well, you know, he thought he'd go back to college. <laughs> Get that uh, communications degree yeah, he always right. wanted. <laughs> Public speaking, I think, is what he wanted to specialize in. I've arrived. Wait a second. We've been here. No, we haven't. They just all look the same. Luke Morell? <laughs> He's right here, thank Raven. God. What do you want? A job? <laughs> Looks like you could do some damage with that hook. What, what nationality is this if guy? German. How to use it, of course. It cuts through French gas bags like a hot knife through butter. Mon dieu. Oh, oh he's French now. Okay, good. You, eh? Quite nice now. Diego Alfaro sends you a message. Hmm. Huh. Working for Santorio. Are you? <laughs> Does Santorio oh, oui, oui. have pirates working for him? Right. Diego. Diego. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Diglett. <Diggle. laughs> <Diggle. laughs> That's the message. He's not coming. You let me down again, Secretary Espanol. Huh? What does that you mean? You two had it. I thought you said you were French. Arrangement. Ah, I see. He sent you. Well, at least he arranged a replacement this time. You've got it wrong. He said you would pay me. How long does this go on for? You believe that? Not long enough. You're a gullible one. No offense, of course. Furthermore, the hell with your monies, anyways. Money. I was doing a favor for Diego, and now the favor is. Why done. couldn't you have said that ten minutes ago? Wait a moment. I mean, no insult. This guy's <laughs> desperate for human contact. <laughs> Must be a friend. Why not wait for a moment and listen to my offer? Listen, you can join my crew, but I have no monies to pay you. I need someone to pay a visit to three men who have become problems for me. The pay for this task would be quite high. How high are we talking? You know the going rate per head around here? Twice that. Uh... It... Is the brothel? Three times the rate. We, we have no monies. I'll do it. For three times the rate. But, mon ami, the total would be nine times what I pay any cutthroat around here. Then hire one. My rate is four times that. Oh. But you That's just say three. playing hardball. Then three it is. Sure I think Chris is got confused. Right. <laughs> have a deal. Not yet. Two times. I need to see the governor, but I don't have the right papers. You have a way to arrange that? Yes, you, you have to find the, the papers. Governor? They're scattered around town. Oh no. The raven stole his vocal cords. Who am I visiting? I have their names, but I must warn you, there are not weak men. You will earn your money. Wait, these aren't your own men, are they? I think a bird just fell into the water. <laughs> not you to ask questions. <laughs> you know, they say seagulls go out to the sea to die. <laughs> Same here with this guy at the helm. I'm pointing at Chris. Oh, yeah. You mean ravens? No, the real Chris. Oh. <laughs> the human Chris. The human man named Chris. That's me. I'm Chris. I'll buy one of the parrots. Oh, how do I buy one? Oh, no, they're gone. Come back. I want to purchase you. <laughs> how come they don't understand the intricacies of commerce? <laughs> the street commerce. Stupid birds. They think they're better than you. How do I buy a bird? <laughs> Please <laughs> help me. Okay. Again, this is like Ace Ventura. We're trying to sneak up on a bird. Einhorn's Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Captain Ravon. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I am from, how Captain you say, Ravon. South Africa. 
Please stand here quietly while I read three pages of dialogue. Before I get irritated. Sometimes I will say them out loud, and sometimes I will say them telepathically. For you for some time. I need your help. I can't find my keys. You and everyone else. What do you want? My name is Arche Ako, and I'm representing the Ako family. My father died recently, and I <laughs> recently a map in his will. The map supposedly leads to some buried and personal items and family heirlooms, mostly things that are valuable to our family. Sir, are you drunk? Oh, what is happening? Much to all this guy having a stroke. <laughs> you should get him some help. <laughs> He's like one of those like community theater actors that's like over exaggerating his, his like mannerisms. He's just chewing the scenery like no other. Oh, yeah. I'm willing to pay you two hundred gold for my safe passage to and from the island. Of what? Map. That's nothing. Fine. But no, I, I didn't agree. I didn't give a choice. And my ship's got no room for land rats. I'll go As opposed to the dang sky here. rats. Captain, <laughs> now he's flying around. To the ocean, the sea rats, aka no fish. <laughs> I will come with you, or there's no deal. The family is simply asking for my safe passage, nothing more, and at a sizable profit to you. Doesn't sound like All the like sea time. rats he can eat. <laughs> like someone else. Captain Ravon, please reconsider. It has to be you. What I mean is, I won't be any extra work for you. Oh no, my Swedish accent. <laughs> she is coming out. <laughs> I don't need your money. You're a bloody odd one, aren't you? I said no. I don't want to see this guy again. This fake, this fake Frenchman. You are making a mistake, Captain. I hope you will reconsider. I'll be done by the ducks if you change your mind. Trying to nail down this accent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, where have we got? We've gotten ourselves in a pickle coming oh, to for sure. whatever this place is called, St. Georgia.